Hello everyone, welcome to Vantage Corner. In this tutorial, we are going to set up link allegations on the Signology NAS. Link allegations is the act of combining multiple network connections in parallel in order to increase the throughput beyond what a single connection could attend. Also to provide redundancies in case of one of the links should fail. And the link allegation rule or LAG is the collection of a physical ports combined together. This video tutorial it consists of three parts. The first part will be configure the link allegation on the Synology NAS, and in this case it will be a DS918 plus. The second part will be configure the link allegation roof on the main switch. And finally, we will do some of the tests to check if the link allegation is working fine. Before we get started, make sure that the network cables are connected between the switch and the NAS. Now, let's log into the disk station management interface. So once we get inside, let's navigate to the control panel and then go to network and then network interface. So as you can see, we have two single network interface, which is LAN 1 and LAN 2. And each of them had a specific IP. This is 192.168.3.5 and .3.247. Now click Create, Create Bond. Here we have some of the link allegation mode and we have IEEE A02.3AD dynamic link allegation. Or we have the balance X or R, which is uh, the static link allegation or just uh, adaptive load balancing. And you need to refer on what is the protocol supported by the switch uh, before select the option. In case you are using a normal unmanaged switch, or a plug and lay switch, then you can just select adaptive load balancing. But in my case, I am using the TP-Link TLHG10A, which supports the static link allegation. Therefore, I will select spelling X or R. Now, click Next. Select the physical interface that you want to combine into the valve. We have two options on the network mode. You can either get the network configuration automatically by setting it up on the DHCP mode or you can manually assign a static IP for the NAS. And to show you how to set up a manual IP, I will select use manual configuration and proceed with my IP address and the subnet mask and the gateway. So when we all set, click apply to move to the next step. All right, so the 16 has been applied to the system and let's wait for a while. It's good, we have just successfully created one bow, uh, which is the combination of the physical port one and two. So let's move to the next step, which is configure the link aggregation roof on the switch. And I will be doing that shortly. 192.168.1.196 is the management IP for my switch. I'm sorry, it will be three. That's 196, all right, let's just log in. And then go to monitoring and then post statistics. The NAS is connected to the switch on port 3 and port 4. 
and you can see we have the link status is off and then we have to put on one gig connection right so let's go to switching lag and then select root id lag1 select port number three and four and then click apply so shortly after we press apply we, the pause will add it to the link allegation rope one now we have done all the configurations on the nas and on the switch so let's perform some tests and see if the link allegation is working and expected and let's just do it i will perform some of the parallel downloads from two and three different computers and see if the NAS can provide that higher download rate. So as you can see, we have just performed some of the tests and the speed of the bond interface go up to 150 megabytes per second. So it is beyond what a single connection can provide normally at 115 megabytes per second. With the result, we can confirm that the link allegation is working fine on the NAS and it is supported by the TP-Link switch. So there is the video about this TP-Link switch uh, and you can check it out on the above uh, button. And once again, if you see the video is helpful, please like, share and subscribe to the channel to support me. And thank you so much for watching.